Hello, this is Dr. Do again. This video is outside of medicine. Continue with uh, New Year history through reading. So continue with reading the uh, Bible. Um, I'm going to read it uh, from previous video. Chapter 7. The Lord then said to Noah, Go into the ark, you and your whole family, because I have found you righteous in this generation. Take with you seven of every kind of clean animal, a male and its mate, and two of every kind of unclean animal, a male and its mate, and also seven of every kind of bird, male and female, to keep their various kinds alive throughout the earth. Seven days from now I will send rain on the earth for forty days and forty nights, and I will wipe from the face of the earth every living creature I have made. And Noah did all that the Lord commanded him. Noah was six hundred years old when the flood waters came on the earth, and Noah and his sons and his wife and his sons' wives entered the ark to escape the waters of the flood. Pairs of clean and unclean animals, of birds and of all creatures that move along the ground, male and female, came to Noah and entered the ark as God had commanded Noah. And after the seven days, the flood waters come on the earth. In the six hundred years of Noah's life, on the seventeenth day of the second month, on that day all the springs of the great deep burst forth, and the flood gates of the heavens were open and the rain fell on the earth forty days and forty nights. On that very day, Noah and his sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth, together with his wives and the wives of his three sons, entered the ark. They had with them every wild animal according to its kind, all livestock according to their kind. Every creature that moves along the ground according to its kind, and every bird according to its kind. Everything with wings, pairs of all creatures that have the breath of life, in them came to Noah and entered the ark. The animals going in were male and female of every living thing, as God had commanded Noah. Then the Lord sh shut him in. For forty days and the flood kept coming on the earth, and as the waters increased, they lifted the ark high above the earth. The waters rise, rose and increased greatly on the earth, and the ark floating on the surface of the water. They rose greatly on the earth, and all the high mountains under the entire heavens were covered. The waters rose and covered the mountains to a depth of more than twenty feet. Every living thing that moved on the earth perished. Birds, livestock, wild animals, all the creatures that swarm over the earth and all the mankind, everything on dry land that had the breath of life in its nostrils died. Every living thing on the face of the earth was wiped out, men and animals and the creatures that move along the ground, and the birds of the air were wiped from the earth. Only Noah was left, and those with him in the ark. The waters flooded the earth for hundred and fifty days. 
Chapter 8 But God remembered Noah and all the wild animals, and the livestock that were with him in the ark. And he sent a wind over the earth, and the waters receded. Now the springs of the deep and the flood gate of the heavens had been closed, and the rain had stopped falling from the sky. The water pre receded, falling f readily from the earth. At the end of the hundred and fifty days, the water had gone down. And on the seventeenth day of the seventh month, the ark came to rest on the mountains of Ararat. The waters continued to recede until the tenth month. And on the first day of the tenth month, the tops of the mountains became visible. After forty days, Noah opened the window he had made in the ark and sent out a ribbon, and it kept flying back and forth until the water had dried up from the earth. Then he sent out a dog to see if the water had receded from the surface of the ground. But the dove could find no place to set its feet, because there was water over all the surface of the earth. So it returned to Noah in the ark. He reached out his hand and took the dove and brought it back to himself in the ark. He waited seven more days and again sent out the dove from the ark. When the dove returned to him in the evening, there in its beak was a freshly packed olive leaf. Then Noah knew that the water had receded from the earth. He waited seven more days and sent the dove out again, but this time it did not return to him. By the first day of the first month of Noah's six hundred and first year, the water had dried up from the earth. Noah then removed the covering from the ark and saw that the surface of the ground was dry. By the twenty-seventh day of the second month, the earth was completely dry. Then God said to Noah, Come out of the ark, you and your wife, and your sons and their wives. Bring out every kind of living creature that is with you, the birds and animals and all the creatures that move along the ground, so they can multiply on the earth and be fruitful and increase in number upon it. I'm going to stop here and continue next time. Thank you for watching.